Welcome back everybody to Kitchen Orama. It was a week with the school starting back in action. Kitchen Orama is officially on Facebook and Instagram, so do stop by. Now, if you're working full time and if you have kids who just started school this week, you know how hectic this week was. Boy, I had to come up with something really quick and healthy and simple and time saving. So what did I make? I made this quick and simple masala dry salmon. And for this recipe, you need about two pounds of salmon fillet cut into bite-sized pieces. You need one large onion chopped, one medium tomato chopped. You need about two tablespoons of ginger garlic paste. Fresh or store-bought is just fine. You need one cup of desiccated dry coconut. Now, if you have wet, that's fine, but I prefer dry. And you need some oil for cooking. And you need all your whole garam masalas, which include cinnamon sticks, cloves, cardamoms, bay leaves are totally optional, and your regular condiments, including salt, turmeric, coriander powder, and red paprika. And some parampara prawn masala. It's very easily available in Indian grocery stores. Now it's optional, so don't stress about it if you can't find it. One cup of cilantro, you're gonna use it for cooking and garnishing. Go ahead and take your salmon pieces in a bowl. Now I have cut them into bigger chunks, um, and I'm also going to cook them to a time limit where they do not break apart and they stay good, nice bite-sized pieces. I'm adding about one to two tablespoons of salt, about two tablespoons of red paprika powder, about half a tablespoon of turmeric, half a tablespoon of coriander powder, and I'm gonna add about one to two tablespoons of ginger garlic paste, and I'm adding some oil in there, and I'm gonna mix it all well up together so I can coat and marinate my salmon piece as well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mix this, mix this and set it aside for about 30 minutes, and meanwhile, I'm gonna get my Instant Pot ready to get my masala going. Now, the Parampara brand of masala that I mentioned is very easily available in any Indian grocery store. If you don't find it, try finding any fish masala or any fish curry masala that you can use. It says prawn masala, but you can literally use it for any fish dish that you wanna make. Now go ahead, cover it up and set it aside for 30 minutes. Get your Instant Pot going on saute mode. And once your Instant Pot gets warmed up, you're gonna go ahead and add about two to three tablespoons of cooking oil. You're gonna drop your whole garam masalas. And if you have been following my recipes, you know I wait till the cardamoms pop. And once the cardamoms pop, you know your masala is ready. And you're gonna go ahead and add your chopped onions. Give your onions a good stir. And again, the key is to make sure your onions caramelize better. The edges should be nice and golden brown so it doesn't leave any raw taste as you can see right up here. There you go. Perfect, perfect. That is exactly how I like my onions to be. Now, once your onions are caramelized, I'm gonna go ahead and add my chopped tomatoes. Now, a lot of people do add some tamarind extract at, in this recipe, and that is, again, completely optional. If you need a little tangy taste, you can do that, or you can completely skip that step. I'm gonna put any regular lid, and I'm gonna let the water from the tomatoes ooze out so my tomatoes and my onions have cooked. As you can see, it's nice and mushy. And at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add about, roughly about one teaspoon of my prawn masala of parampara. And I'm gonna go ahead and give it a good stir. And I'm gonna let it simmer for a few minutes till the masala kind of mixes up well with the onions and tomatoes. And as you can see, there is no water so this recipe does require you to stir it, making sure nothing sticks to the bottom and burns. Once your masala is ready, go ahead and dunk your salmon pieces in there. Now they have been sitting coated with spices for 30 minutes. So the, the pieces of the meat have really soaked up all the spices. Give it a good stir. As you can see, I am using the folding technique, like usually when, that you use during baking. You don't want to hit the pieces directly because they will start breaking apart. Some of them cooks very quickly um, in Instant Pot. Again, if you don't have an Instant Pot, you can totally cook this in a regular bottom pan. And once that is done, I'm going to go ahead and turn it off, put the lid back on, turn the pressure valve on, and cook it on manual mode. And as you can see here, 
And I am really going to cook it for just three minutes, guys. Yes, isn't that fantastic? Like on a rush, rush day, three minutes of cook time and maybe like five to seven minutes of prep time, I would say that's a win-win. And there, my salmon is all cooked. My masala is all ready. And I'm going to add about two to three tablespoons of dry desiccated coconut powder. Now it is not burnt, it is the masala as you can see, that as I roll it with my spoon, everything kind of comes right off the pan and nothing is sticking to the bottom of the pan. Now, as you see, I hit a few pieces and it starts breaking apart and that's why I like my salmon to be chunky and nice and bite-sized. Enjoy this in a bowl as a main dish with some salad or serve it with your favorite form of rice or non bread or just plain dinner rolls whatever you combine it with it is yum if you're enjoying these recipes stay subscribed and stay tuned